Sorting is an activity which we perform quite often and computers sort even much more often than people. Why? Sorted data is easy to work with for people as well as for computers. Um, you find file you are looking for faster in sorted than in unsorted list. Sometimes we are only interested in a part of offer data, for instance the newest files. And once again, if the, if the items are sorted according to date, it will be easier to see them. In a similar way, searching engine tries to offer you the websites which you are most probably interested in uh, at the top of the page. And to do that, it has to sort the sites according to popularity. In these examples, computers sorted because of people. But it's actually only a tiny fraction of all the cases when computers need to sort. Nearly all the computer programs sort data at some point. A lot of things are much easier when data we are working with are sorted. Imagine the situation like this. Uh, you need to compare the sequences of numbers. Does the top line contain the same cards as the bottom line? If the sequences are long, it would be a difficult task. But if you sort the sequences, it becomes very easy. And it's it's completely clear now. Uh, another example could be like this. Your program gets a sequence of numbers and it needs to determine which numbers are there more than once. And again, it becomes completely trivial when we sort the list at first, because now duplicates are next to each other. Well, sorting is important, so maybe it would be useful to know how to make our program sort. There are actually hundreds of ways to do that. Some are simple and clear, and some, uh, some are difficult and complicated, but on the, on the other end, perhaps faster. I encourage you to try to figure out at least one method how to sort a list numbers. And if it seems too complicated to you, just think about that. You have a few cards in your hands and you want to sort them from the smallest to the highest, as, as uh, we have seen at the beginning of this video. So what will you do? I hope you've been successful. Now I show you one of the possible ways. We find the smallest number at all and put it to the left, to the first position. Now we are looking for the second smallest number, in other words the smallest from the rest, and put it to the second position from the left. Then we find the third smallest card and put it to the third position. And we do it again and again. And as the time goes, we build a sorted, part, a sorted part from the left, and at the end, all the cards will be sorted. There you can see the same algorithm sorting numbers in array, which is actually the same thing we've just done with cards. This method is called selection sort, and I have shown you this algorithm because it's pretty simple to program. You can imagine that the array is separated into two parts, a sorted on the left, and the unsorted part, which is the rest. Every time we go through the unsorted part and find the smallest number, then put it uh, to the left, to the left of the, the uh, unsorted part, and extend the, extend the sorted part to uh, contain this number. And how many times do we need to do the searching through array? Uh, well, if you have n numbers, you will need n minus 1 passes. Um, of course, you can go n times, but the last, last pass would be pointless, since you have only one number left in unsorted part, and one element, uh, one element sequence is always sorted. Well, it's definitely not the best way to sort and the time it needs uh, grows quite fast when the number of numbers uh, or number of cards uh, is increasing. It grows quadratically as you can see. But it's often enough uh, if you are not dealing with large databases it's okay to use selection sort. Although there are much faster algorithms 
such as quicksort, but they are a bit more difficult to understand and uh, a bit more difficult to program. And selection sort is definitely not the worst sorting algorithm ever. There are also algorithms which need so much time to perform that it would be impossible to sort even quite small sequences with them. For example, stupid sort. If you sort cards with stupid sort, it means you throw the cards in the air, then collect them in random order, and check whether are sorted or not. Don't try this method as it's quite destructive for cards. If you really want, you can try a less destructive algorithm called Bozo sort. Just uh, randomly pick two cards and swap them. Then check whether it's sorted or not and repeat. Uh, this is very ineffective, so it's not difficult to guess why I have made the, the array smaller. Time it needs grows extremely fast with every new element and it holds in general that you should be very careful if you are trying to figure out an algorithm for anything sometimes it's not enough that it solves the problem both stupid sort and bozo sort eventually sort the sequence but it will take them a really unbearable amount of time okay and these last mentioned algorithms are just for fun they are definitely not useful but yet it would be quite good exercise to program them in the real life, I, I mean in the real program life, we use much more effective algorithms and it's good to know some of them because it's really one of the most fundamental tasks in programming.